Hello Classic Crew and welcome to today's video where I'm going to be sharing my beauty, fashion and accessory tips for the classic woman. If you are new to my channel, here we talk about classic living and traditional values, and I would love if you would consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. If you'd like access to a ton of exclusive content, including my book club, my AV club, my podcast, and monthly Zoom girl chats, make sure to head over to classicallyabby.substack.com. So today we're going to be talking about six tips I have on beauty, fashion, and accessories for the classic woman. I have a ton of these tips that I kind of use in my daily life, and I thought I would narrow it down to six for today's video but maybe I'll do more on this. So let me know in the comments if you'd like to see another video on this topic. But I think that there are a few tips and tricks that can make being stylish and beautiful easy. So I'm really looking forward to sharing these with you, so let's get into it. So my first tip is a beauty tip, and it is to find a lip stain or a chapstick that's a your lips but better color so that you can kiss your husband and your kids without worrying about it. I used to be a person who collected lipsticks. Like I had a ton of lipsticks. I have bright reds, I have bright pinks. And once I had a baby, it became really irrelevant because I'm gonna be honest, I wanna be able to kiss my baby at any time without warning. <laughs> and if I'm wearing lip gloss or a red lipstick or anything like that, it gets on him and he doesn't really mind, but I don't wanna have to wipe him every time or it could get all over my face. I'd much rather use a lip stain or a chapstick that maybe has a little hint of color so that I can just be able to be relaxed about kissing my baby and kissing my husband. Because let's be honest, a lot of men don't wanna kiss their wives when they've got red lipstick on because they know they're gonna get red lipstick on their lips. So I have realized how I really needed to pare down my lipstick collection because I just don't wear most of my lipsticks. I want to wear something that is easy and that I don't have to worry about, that's easy to apply, that doesn't spread everywhere, that's a more natural color, that's a more natural look. And yes, I do have a few reds that I'll wear on special occasions, but generally, on an everyday basis, I'm going to be wearing something that's a your lips but better color. So I have this e.l.f. lip stain that I'm obsessed with currently, and I have the shade Pinkies Up. It is legitimately the exact color of my lips, but just a little bit pinker, and it looks great on, and it just fades throughout the day. It doesn't get on my baby, it doesn't get on my husband, and it's just great, and it's like $6. So I will link it down below, so if you guys wanna try something or maybe see if they have it in your own shade, maybe your lips are a different color than mine, you can try it. But that to me is a really important way to stay classic because one of the things I think is really classic is being the kind of person who's a little bit more laid back and relaxed about your appearance, AKA don't be vain. And wearing something that makes you look a little bit prettier, but that doesn't get in the way of you being a practical person, a loving wife, a loving mama, that's really the most important thing. Number two is in the same vein, but now we're talking fashion, and that is choose clothes that are machine washable. Now, the reason I say this is because I have a very spit uppy baby. <laughs> And when I say very, I mean legitimately most people who have met my baby have said that they've never seen a baby spit up this much. So my son spits up all the time. I will inevitably be covered in spit up by the end of the day. I call it spit up chic. I have just recognized and accepted that that is how I'm always going to look and I am totally fine with it. As long as my baby is healthy, I could not care less. I used to think, oh, like there must be a way for you to look more trendy and worry if you got stuff on your clothes. No, here's my thought process. If your outfit is nice, it doesn't matter if there's food on it, if your baby spit up on it, any of that stuff does not matter because the most important thing is that you be an involved, wonderful parent. And if you are too worried about your clothes to be able to hold your baby, you're doing things wrong. So choosing machine washable clothes is the best way to do that because what that means is that if your baby gets food on you, if your baby gets spit up on you, whatever else it is, you can throw it in the machine and not worry. If you're wearing clothing that's a little bit more high end that needs to be dry cleaned, you're going to worry about that stuff and it's just not nearly as fun. So I have a few pieces that are really nice that I only wear when my baby is asleep, when I go on date night with my husband, and those are dry clean only but 90% of the time, more, 95% of the time, the stuff that I'm wearing goes right into the machine so that I don't have to worry about being a really involved mom and I can play with my kiddo. Now, this is relevant even if you don't have kids yet because you probably have nieces and nephews and you wanna be a really nice involved aunt. 
You could definitely have clothes though, <laughs> because you're not a mom yet, that do require dry cleaning because you're probably not gonna be in that situation as often. But as soon as you become a mom, just recognize that very soon you will probably have stuff all over you and that is totally fine if you have machine washable clothing. Number three is buy a steamer and steam your clothes before hanging them up. Something that I've realized is that if I pull something out of my closet and it's wrinkly, I probably won't wear it. I'll probably just put it right back <laughs> because who wants to pull something out and then have to steam it? So owning a steamer is first of all, super important because it's so easy to steam your clothes if they come out of the wash and they're wrinkly and you don't have to spend time ironing. They're so easy to use. You can get them on Amazon. I can link the one that I have below. I got mine from Costco, which was awesome. And it does such a good job of getting the wrinkles out of my clothes and it makes me wear those clothes more often. But the second part of that is you need to steam your clothes as soon as they come out of the wash or at least leave them in a pile before hanging them up. I don't always get an opportunity to steam my clothes right as they come out of the washing machine, but I will not hang them up until they've been steamed. So what I'll do is I'll leave them in a little pile and then I will steam them all in one go, maybe three times a week. And then I hang them up, but I do not hang them up in the closet until they've been steamed because if they get hung up in the closet, they will not get steamed and I will not wear them. <laughs> And I think it's really nice to wear clothes that aren't wrinkly. Wearing clothes that are wrinkly is not the most classic thing. You wanna wear things that look a little bit more put together. So owning a steamer is the fastest and easiest way to do that. Number four is buy some one piece outfits that you can throw on without thinking. So I have been on the hunt for these kinds of outfits because I like to look put together even on days when I'm not really doing anything, but I wanna be able to just throw something on that's easy and makes me still feel pretty because otherwise we're all gonna throw on leggings and a sweatshirt or a t-shirt. And I don't think that wearing leggings and a sweatshirt is bad if it covers you know, your bottom, but I do think that it's not the most classic thing to wear. It can look really cute, but it's not the most classic thing to wear. And even though I do wanna get some more sweatshirts that say cute things on them, I sort of have to hold myself back because at the end of the day, I know it's not really stylish. It's cute, it's comfy, but it's not really stylish. I may end up getting a sweatshirt that says mama on it because I just love everything that says mama on it. It's a problem. But in any case, getting some jumpsuits or dresses that are one piece or that aren't low cut so you don't have to wear a cami underneath, that is going to make all the difference in making you look stylish on those days where you're just not up to it or you just don't wanna think about it. So I have some really cute dresses that I can just throw on and leave the house, not even think about it. I have a jumpsuit like this one where I can just put it on, button it up, done, no thinking. One piece outfits are simple, they're easy, and they give you an opportunity to look stylish even when you feel like you don't have time to. Number five is to have some staple accessories that you wear all the time. Now I have quite a few staple accessories that I wear all the time. I can show you right now. I have two bracelets. I have this ring that my husband and I got on our anniversary. We have matching ones. I have my wedding rings. I have three necklaces that I wear every single day, but you don't need all this stuff. Oh, and my earrings. Uh, but you should have a pair of earrings that you wear all the time and then you can decide certain other things. I think one necklace that you wear all the time looks nice, maybe one bracelet and maybe one ring, but you can decide kind of what that, how many things you wanna wear all the time. Because I think it's always nice to have those things on. You can wear them in the shower, you can go swimming in them, and you don't have to worry about taking them on and taking them off. I wear all this stuff literally all the time. I do not take these things off. And this is the caveat. If you wanna wear something a little bit different, then you can switch them out. But you're always accessorized without even thinking about it if you have staple accessories that you wear all the time. Then if you want to accessorize differently, you can take those off, put on something different, and then put these back on when you're done at the end of the day. So you always look nice. You always look like you thought about what you wanted to wear and what accessories you wanted to have on. But if you want to switch in something different, you can. And that is like the easiest way to look accessorized at all times. Last but not least is learn three different hairstyles that you can wear over the course of the week as your hair starts to look a little more greasy, a little more dirty, so that you don't have to immediately wash and restyle your hair every time it gets oily as the week progresses. Doing your hair can take a good amount of time. So having to do it every other day can be exhausting, but relegating it to two or three times a week is a lot more doable. And the way that I've learned to do that is by learning different hairstyles to extend the length of time before I have to wash my hair again. And those hairstyles can kind of disguise that my hair is getting more oily. So, for example, uh, if I curl my hair on Monday, 
On Tuesday, it still looks pretty good. On Wednesday, I might pin back the sides. On Thursday, I might throw it up in a bun and then that night I'd wash it. And then I would style it again Friday morning. So that gives me an opportunity to extend the time between washes and I only have to style my hair you know, Monday and Friday, or however many days you want to go in between washes. But having a few hairstyles up your sleeve so that you can just go ahead, style your hair, have it look nice without you actually having to spend the time to curl it or straighten it or whatever else is a really good way to still feel attractive and beautiful in between those times where your hair is like freshly washed and freshly curled. So those are my six tips for looking beautiful and classic. If you would like to see another video like this, please let me know in the comments below. And I'd love to hear if you have any tips that you'd like to share. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell and head over to classicallyabby.substack.com. If you'd like to follow me on social media, it's at classicallyabby absolutely everywhere. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.